Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a theming video and I'm going to show you how to make your Linux installation look like Mac OS Big Sur. Now it's not going to look exactly like Big Sur, but it's going to take it from looking something like this to something looking more like this. We're going to be doing all this theming in KDE, so this will work on whatever distribution you're using. As long as you use in KDE Plasma as your desktop environment, you'll be able to follow along just fine. So let's jump into it. All right, so here we are on the desktop and I'm just gonna go through the steps, how I do it. You can do this in any order, but this is how I usually go about it. First thing I'm gonna do is right click on the panel here, edit and just move it to the top screen edge. I'm also gonna adjust the height a little bit. I'm doing this recording in 1080p. I usually uh, run 1440, but for the sake of recording, I'm doing it in 1080p. So we got our taskbar moved to the top. We can go ahead and close this. Now, the first thing that I want to install is a dock, and I've used a lot of docks. If you're using KDE, the best one, in my opinion, is Plasma. So I'm gonna go out and open Discover and install Latte Dock. Now, if you're using another uh, Distribution, you may not have Discover, you may have something else if you're using Manjaro, but Latte Doc should be in the repository for your distribution. So let's take a look. And we got Latte. I'm going to install that, enter my password. And we have Latte Doc installed. Now, the only other external application we're going to use or need is Kvantum. So I'm going to go ahead and install that now. Again, this should be in your repository. If it's not, you can just go out to uh, their website, download it, and install it and be good to go. So I'm just going to install Kvantum Manager from here. And there we go. Okay, so now what I wanna do is launch Latte Doc. And the good thing is when you launch this, it automatically puts it into the auto start. So if we go to auto start, we can see that Latte is in here and enabled. So we're good to go. Um, and there's our doc. Now, the icons and stuff don't look like Mac-esque icons, but we will get there. Now, one thing that is in Mac OS is, you know, you don't have this task, the tasks are open in the dock, but what you do here have is a unified menu and in KDE, there is such a thing. So if we go to add widgets, I'm just right clicking on the panel here, go to add widgets and look for global menu. We can just drag this up. I usually put it just before the task manager here. And then what I want to do is get rid of that. I'm going to go and edit the panel again, and I'm going to remove my task manager. I can grab it. All right, there we go. So we removed the task manager and you see that everything jumped over to the side here. All we need to do is add a spacer and drag this spacer just to the right of the global menu. All right, it's a little tricky to get it, but it looks like we got it. All right, so now the next thing we wanna do is apply a theme that looks like Mac OS. So we're gonna go into the menu and go to system settings here and global themes. Now what we wanna do is click on this get new global themes icon or button. And what we want is white sir. Now there's two versions. There's a white version and a dark version. I wanna install the dark version. So I'm gonna scroll down just a little bit and we can see this white sir dark. All I'm gonna do is click on install. It's gonna take a little while and we'll let that go. Now, while that's installing, we can open up Firefox and look for Kvantum themes and click on this. I'll put a link to all this stuff down in the description so you can just click on it and get right to it. But we, what we want is this White Sir Kvantum here. Now this includes the light and the dark. So we can click here and find out if we want to install the, the white version or the dark version. I'm gonna get the dark version and download that and just save that to my downloads directory so that's all done let's jump out here and then i am just going to extract this 
and create a folder in my documents folder just uh, for the Kvantum themes. So we're inside that Kvantum theme and I'm gonna click extract that extracted this uh, theme and we can go and go into documents, Kvantum, whites are dark and make sure that it has the KV config and uh, the SVG is not really needed, but the KV config. Okay, so we got that downloaded. This should be done. Okay, this global theme is done, so we can close. All right, so now that this is downloaded, we can just click on it, click apply, and sometimes it applies right away, sometimes it takes a little while. This time it applied right away, and we can see that we're looking a lot more Mac OS-like. If we go to Plasma Style, we just wanna make sure that the white sir, white sir dark is selected there, Application Style, uh, we want to make sure this is Kvantum because we are going to apply the theme within the Kvantum application. If you don't see this in here yet, it's because you haven't run it yet. You need to run that uh, one time for it to show up under application style. And then uh, icons with this theme uh, set of Mac OS like icons are installed as well. So we got all that and like I said, it's looking much more Mac OS like right now, but you know, this menu bar is a little funky. It doesn't have any transparencies or anything. So now we're gonna apply that other theme. So we want to go and uh, launch the Kvantum Manager. And we are gonna select that theme folder that we unzipped that theme to a couple steps ago. I put it in Documents, Kvantum, White Sir Dark. So I'm gonna select that and click on install this theme. So now it's installed, we just have to apply it and we're gonna to go to change and do this drop down all the way to the bottom. And we can see we have our white sir dark, select that and use this theme. So now you can see we got some transparency in here. If we open up Dolphin, it looks much flatter. It has that flat Mac OS look. It looks much uh, cleaner. And, you know, we have the transparencies going on and all that good stuff. Now, one thing I like to do, this is not a Mac OS thing, but I also like to do, use the wobbly windows. So if we go to desktop effects and search for wobbly windows, we can turn on that. And it just, you know, gives the windows a little wobble. It's completely pointless, but I like it. But you can see even in these dialog boxes that pop up, it's much, uh, you know, it has a much more flat, modern look, much more Mac OS like. Even the, the menu up at the top by default, it's kind of the similar stuff that you would have on the Mac OS taskbar. The menu icon changed to the little Apple logo. Now what you're gonna notice is that the dock doesn't really look like Mac OS and it has this analog clock instead of the trash can. What we can do here is we can go to, I'm just uh, right clicking on it, going to dock settings, and we can make some changes in here. So we can change the background size to something like that so it looks more Mac OS-esque. We can lower the opacity a little bit we can even get rid of this clock and add a new widget. So I'm just gonna go to add widgets, lost it for a second there. And I'm gonna look for the trash can and then just drag that down. So now it kinda looks like Mac OS dock with the trash can on there. Another thing you're gonna notice is that, you know, this has a Firefox icon. I mean, it is Firefox, but if you really wanna kinda mimic Mac OS, uh, you probably want that to be something like a Safari icon. That's really easy to do. If you just start typing in K menu edit, and then if we browse to the internet, so this K menu editor is just the, the KDE menu editor, it lets you change the paths, uh, the icons for applications, add new applications, whatever you wanna do. So if we go to Firefox web browser, we can click right here and change that icon. And then we can just do something like uh, type in web and we can see that we have a few different options for the Safari icon. Let's just go to, uh, uh, it doesn't really matter. Select this one. And then when we do a save, 
we'll see that icon update in both the dock and inside the menu, Firefox web browser. You may have noticed that this one has not updated yet. That's just because the cache hasn't updated, but um, when you restart, or log out, log back in, that'll be refreshed. All right, so that's just about it. There's a few small things to kind of polish this off a little bit. If you wanna change the desktop background to something Mac OS-like, you can go and download some backgrounds, but one was installed with this White Sur uh, theme. So if we just right click, go to configured desktop, if I can click it, uh, we can see that the White Sur background is here. So we can just select that and apply it. So now we got the Big Sur background there. And the last thing is that you may have noticed that the buttons are on the right and on the, in the Mac, the, you know, the minimize, maximize, all that kind of buttons are actually on the left-hand side. I personally prefer them on the right. It's just what I'm used to, but if you want to change it, so it's even more Mac OS like, all you need to do is go into your application launcher, system settings, application style, window decorations and just go up to this title bar so now you can come here and you can drag these back and forth you can get rid of any of the buttons that you want so all you need to do is drag those to the left drag the other ones to the right and you're good to go but that's about it that's really all i wanted to show you for making your linux installation look like mac os big sur again like i said it's not exactly like big sur but it's very similar and it definitely gives you a much cleaner look it's got all the flat style the transitions everything feels very unified and clean the author did a fantastic job on this theme i'm actually really really impressed let me know if there's any other themes you want me to try out or any other applications or distros that you want me to try leave that down in the comment section below if you found this useful or informative please hit that thumbs up or consider subscribing if you haven't done so and i will see you in the next video thanks for stopping by